It is National Reentry Week. That is an effort to help inmates readjust to regular life after spending time behind bars. And joining us in studio this evening to talk more about this program is U.S. Attorney for West Michigan, Pat Miles. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sue. So tell us a little bit about this. I've got a stat here. 28% of inmates released in Michigan will be rearrested within three years. That's right. How does that number stack up with... I guess years past to well, start with. Well, Michigan has been doing very well for the last 10 years uh, in terms of putting more emphasis on helping uh, prisoners readjust to society. Nationally, uh, it's two thirds will be rearrested within three years uh, and reincarcerated. That means more crime, more victims, more cost on the criminal justice system sure. and the taxpayers to reincarcerate. Sure, it's important to lower that number. Michigan's doing better than the national numbers, we but are still. Not, not good enough. Right. Um, let's talk about some successful programs in West Michigan to help with this problem. Right. Well, one, pro one of the top problems for people getting out of prison is getting a job. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have a job, you don't have employment, what are you going to do? You're probably going to return to a life of crime. And so in 2012, two companies, local companies, Butterball Farms and Casky Engineering, began a program called 32-2 to try and uh, encourage 30 companies to hire at least two ex-offenders for at least two years. And that program has been very successful. It's actually been replicated by my counterpart in New Orleans, the U.S. Attorney in Louisiana. So he's implemented that in, uh, in New Orleans, and we would expect it might be in going into other cities. I'd love to see that program, maybe on a smaller scale, maybe not 30 companies, but a fewer companies in Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Benton Harbor, Lansing, Muskegon. So it's a fairly new program, 2012. I mean, it is a new program, yeah. yes. And other, other states are taking notice. They are. Um, what is it that happens? Walk us through it. How does it work? Well, it works by first we have to get companies to see the value both in their own economic interest and in the community interest of hiring people out of this, frankly, talent pool. There are people with job skills coming out of prison and companies are hungry for talent. And number one, companies have to ban the box and move the box. And that box is on your application form, have you ever been arrested? Do you have a felony? And if you check yes, you go no farther. But move that down the line in the process to see if this, someone, this person is qualified for the job and then to see if it s fits their, their needs. Uh, for example, if someone has been convicted of embezzlement, you probably don't want to put them in charge of cash, right? right? But certainly they could do production and other jobs in the company. So just not having an automatic disqualifier. Human resources officers, they want to reduce risk. But this effort has to come from the top, from the CEO and the owners. And there are programs in Michigan to help them. Uh, Michigan offers up to $25,000 for bonding protection for six months in case of if there's a problems with your employee in terms of embezzlement or theft or any other type of thing like that. Right. So there is an effort there to make sure that the employer is basically supported in something supported like this. Supported and protected. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Pat Miles, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sue.